We now return to Let's Play Terroir. Interesting to note, um, as I was loading the uh, the game here, it kind of tells you the date at which you're doing this. Uh, it tells me December 2020, but it also tells me that it is December 310. So uh, it must be keeping track of days in a, an odd fashion. So anyway, uh, here we are on our little vineyard that is, uh, well, it's making a little bit of money. Um, let me find out real quick how the market is doing. And they have sold through all of... Nope, nope. We've got about 300 bottles left to sell. So we might be able to get the 2,500 necessary to get the next uh, crop of grapes going. However, that's going to be all of my money. Should we make another $5,000 here, that's going to be all of my money. And that basically means that that crop is going to make or break whether or not um, the company exists. So, I am tempted right now to just get a loan. Because the thing is, right, um, I can do this, but if I do it, then that's something I also have to pay off. So, uh, we... Uh, okay, you know what, we're going to go for... Uh, so multiple renown, so I can go up to 4,000, minimum of 3,000. So I guess we'll go for 4,000 and repay it over 10 years. Payments of 350. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, put down a valid number of years. That is not a valid number. 100? 5? 5. Okay. 5 years. What is the maximum I can do? 9? 8. So 5 must be, five must be max then. Um, it'd be nice if this tooltip actually reflected that. So, 76 bucks, I think we can afford to do that, especially since I have 40 bottles of wine still sitting in my thing. Um, let's go ahead and apply that, okay. So, we've got a little bit now, we're that much closer to actually having the money. Uh, hopefully in the next month here we'll flip over and actually have that money. Your refusal to contribute to the war effort was seen as a defiant and ethically conscious stand by the general public. And as a consequence, has improved your chateau's renown. Okay. I was going to say, I was given like two years before. Um, this gave me a few months. This must have been to make up for... I mean, that'd be kind of a nice thing, actually, if, like, you fail, the next one is kind of a, you're going to get this. However, this means we now have renown that I can actually lose. Um, that will help with the price. That'll help with next year's whatever. Um, but, okay, we now, we now have enough. Uh, hold on, a tick. Yay! We can now pick 2020 for five stars, because I now actually have some. Okay, so what does this do? Medals are once again up for grabs. Submit your wines for consideration. Submission fee is a thousand bucks. Well, we're going to do it anyway. Um, come on. Come come on. There we go. Best craft? Oh, really? So there's two things that... You know what? So that's going to put me at 27. Note that the wine with the most awards wins the prestigious uh, whatever, uh, while the winemaker with the most awards overall takes home the winemaker award. Now this, no doubt, is going to help out um, a lot. You know what? We'll do it for both. Just do it. Good luck! End of April. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add this tile. And we'll go ahead and... Uh, as soon as the thing pops up, and when is that going to be? March? February? We'll let it go for a little bit. Uh, did this... Nope, this is still Cabernet. I think I'm going to want this to be Cabernet, too. I mean, I don't have a choice. I, don't, I can't afford others. Uh, clay. Clay allows me to do Merlot and Pinot Noir. Good. I'm glad we kind of went out this way. So we can do Sandy for the Sauvignon and Sara. That is 50 grand, just to get that. More loam. Okay. So, at least around the lake, I would kind of like to have the forest over here, um, helping my crops, and I'm actually kind of tempted to go this way. Uh, for Chardonnay, I suppose. Eventually I'm going to have to do that. thing is, I don't have any... Um, we better keep this running. I don't have any... Uh, there we go. Plant. Um any experience with anything outside of Cabernet. Now, the only reason I'm going to plant this right now is because I do have experience. I know exactly the formula I need, and therefore I can make money. Um, 
when I can afford to fiddle around with Chardonnay, I will. And I, I'm kind of tempted off screen to just do that anyway. Um, because I can start a new game, and maybe I'll do that just for the sake of the let's play. Because the thing is, um, given the events of last episode where I wasn't doing so well, and maybe we won't do so well again, um, I was thinking that maybe this will be one of those things where it's a learning let's play where we'll be failing and then we'll know for next time. Um, given that I now like to keep my Let's Plays around 20 to 30 episodes, I don't think that's a good thing. So what I'm going to start doing, probably, is just for the sake of testing stats, uh, I'm going to start another um, game on my own and just see if I can get close to the stats so that in this game, we can go ahead and go forward and I'm not wasting everybody's time, including my own. So, plant. And now, we have got to uh, do this. Now this is going to be hard because there is a slight recharge time, and now I can see the mechanic where if we have a ton of stuff on the vineyard, uh, that means we're going to have to be cutting a lot, and so maybe we won't get it in time and some of these crops will be bad. Okay, the tinkle tinkle of uh, the light foliage, it is March, we've already gone up to ripeness 2, so I'm going to go ahead and let that foliage grow just a bit, not that much, come on, come on, come on. It is rainy, so of course that foliage is going to grow. And that is going to be a pain in my butt. Because I want that to get a little bit of sun. Oh, good grief. Now bear in mind also that we have 4,000. going to be like 8,000 probably by the time I finally make enough money um, in loan. So we'll find out. Oops, somebody forgot to make their loan repayments two straight months. What? If we charge three months worth of repayments at the next end of next month of the will is administrative. I have to go in there and repay that? On my own? Bullshit. Well, I mean, we're pretty much fnorked anyway, so why don't we go ahead and sell the... Oh, I got rid of all my bottles. What? What? It took all my bottles away? Does it... Because I... What? I wonder, did this eat it all? So it was like, oh, you didn't make 3,000, you, you made... Because that's kind of bull. Well, let's hope nothing else happens along that way. We'll speed things up. It is now May. We need to cut that and lower... Oh, your failure to... Re oh, my fucking God! You now have two months to repay the entire amount. Well, that ain't gonna happen because I am in negative funds right now, so... I guess that's the end of the game. Um... Okay. That's kind of shit, actually. I was hoping for, like, automatic deductions, which is why I was thinking maybe I was losing so much damn money. Um, but no, that apparently is not the case. Hey, at least we got something. We got two. We actually did... Oh, no, no, never mind. I was actually not reading at all. So guess who didn't win jack shit, and I wasted two grand I could have been using to... Uh, pay my loans. Okay, well, this is, in fact, a learning Let's Play now. We are learning all the things not to do, uh, one of which is do not take loans, do not uh, spend money this early on. What I should have done, rather than wait, I should have just gone straight Chardonnay. I need to learn the stats for Chardonnay so I can just use it. Okay, great. Um, yeah. Table one. Try again. Okay, well... Short episode, I realize. Um, we'll just try again. Maybe I should start on easy difficulty. Do I care about the final score? Is that going to be like... I mean, what is that even... Is it just score or is it actually money? I don't know. Maybe until I figure out what the hell I'm doing, I should do... Ah, whatever. We'll try again. Um... Okay, uh, we'll pause on that. Well, I guess we won't because I have to wait until this thing regrows. You know what? We'll just go ahead and, and straight up now uh, just do Chardonnay. And then if, uh, if that doesn't go so well, uh, I'll just restart again next episode. We'll just finish off this episode with a little bit of experimentation. And it looks like, unfortunately, we have a lake right in the middle um, of all this stuff. We've got clay, plant. We're going to go ahead and plant Chardonnay. Now, this says rich flavors. Hardiness. Okay. 
zesty to buttery. Now I did look, actually. We're gonna go ahead and plant that. Depending on the weather. Yeah, yeah. Now let's go ahead and find out what the uh, wine characteristics. I think I clicked the wrong thing. Wine character? No. Okay, uh, grape varieties. Earthy and smoky flavorings. Okay, what does that shit do, though? That's what I want to know. Flavors. Buttery. Uh, depending on the barrel type. Okay, so I really have no... No nothing about that. Um, fine. So, uh, yeah, like I say, we'll get close to whatever stats we can. And I, th I guess, you know, maybe we'll go after uh, the Cabernet stats. We'll hit about middle of the road. Why not? Because that's about the safest bet you can make, I suppose. And um, I feel like that tile... Because you do, I mean, if you look at your stats at the end, or at the, um, not the stats, the, uh, the, 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 uh, okay, here's a couple empty, well, one empty lot, uh, that I can use for an improvement. Actually, let me, uh, yeah, let's not add it just yet, I was gonna, I ha have to add it to be able to see. Still light foliage, okay, we're in April now. Uh, this is actually good, I want this to continue to grow, maybe, maybe optimal, I don't know. We're already pretty high on the ripeness. I'd like it to go just a little bit more. I some part of me feels like maybe also uh, the length of time increases yield because obviously that would make sense. I mean, it might be ripe now, but it's not quite ready to harvest. You know what I mean? I'm gonna t keep an eye on that yield. We'll also go ahead and try um, the difference between corking. Yeah, see, as time goes on, yield increases, which makes absolute sense. Um, we'll try corking versus the screw cap on, I guess, dependent upon... See, there's so much rain that that foliage keeps growing. That's great, but I don't know. We've reached this ripeness so quickly. Is it going to burn out as summer approaches? We've already reached way more than I've gotten before. I imagine the rain has helped with that, actually. Because this is pretty freaking difficult. If uh, oh, that's clay, that's also clay. That is not. That is sand. That is. Well, this is actually a terrible start because if I wanted to increase, it'd be kind of difficult to do. Okay, we're at five. Should we say six or seven? Might be ideal ripeness. See, we're there. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer so that we get bigger yield and perhaps one more thing of ripeness. And in fact, maybe now that it's autumn, I should cut this back. Would that do it? Six. You know what? We'll do it. That way we at least have something by the end of the... You know what? That looks absolutely perfect. We'll get one star. Extra star. Okay. We're done. Uh, do that. Crushing method. Increases tannins by two. See, I'm tempted now to bring tannins all the way down. But the formula for last time made uh, such good wine that I am also tempted not to do a damn bit. Uh, decreases sweetness. Sweetness for the sh Cabernet was 5. Is Chardonnay sweet? I don't know. Um, we'll go ahead and lower it. Why not? Just by 1. We'll lower it to that 1 level. And then if I increase acidity and then decrease them both to get it down to 6566, We'll at least have that median progress to kind of tell me um, where it goes. Now, pressed juice increases acidity by one. So if I do six, and then I let it sit for a month, that'll bring it down five, 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 and, well, sitting for a month, it might even just be five across the board. That'll be good. That'll actually give me um, a good base, just to, a good baseline at, at fives all across the board. Um, so we'll begin pressing, I guess, at just 10% to increase the acidity by the 1. And we will let it sit for one month to get 5, 5, 5, and possibly 5. Once you have stored your wine. So, we're going to be looking for November. There we go. One month old, 5, 5, 5, all across the board. It has a buttery flavor, increasing 10% to the price. Eight barrels, that's good. Bottle it. 
And this time we'll hang on to a little bit. Uh, and I'll go ahead and put it in something like that. And that cost of bottling makes me nervous. Organize a taste test. Five star. Right off the bat. Excellent. So, okay, okay, shut up. So now, I gotta sell it. Now, um, to whom do we sell it? I guess all of them? S just split it across the board. Since I've only got the one, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so what are we looking at here? Um, 320? Excellent. Go ahead and sell. And I gotta get, what, more? Two stars right away. Excellent. And here we go. So I've still got 13 grand. I can't buy diddly with it. So we're gonna have to wait until it sells. Ah, shit! This time we're gonna save some. Uh, it just doesn't occur to me because it's like, sell it. I need the money. Okay, there's our 22 grand. Let's do a little bit more and we can get another field right away. Another field of Cabernet, which I know how to move. 31! Excellent! This is going very well already. So, and how much have they sold? That is not the market. They've sold it all, so we've we've made a bit of money back. That's good. Um, so, we'll go ahead and open a loam field. And we'll go ahead and open a... Uh, well, I guess we have to wait. Yeah, I'd like to get a forest down here, actually. I, for the sake of it, I would kind of like to just open that up and see if I can't get a worker going. Now, I wonder if this is going to double down on, uh... Are we, are we paused just yet? Double down on the bonus, since it's got two forests right there. That would be interesting. We'll find out. So, <sighs> I, again, I am in a situation where I can now plant uh, more Chardonnay which obviously is going to be helpful. However, based on uh, the last game, uh, doing that is going to... M my money depletes over time because of maintenance costs and all that, and I wish I could sell that tile now because it's utterly worthless. So we'll go with uh, Cabernet because I know that one as well, and we will hope for a good harvest and bring out my tool. Seriously, this tool just needs to be right there. Just don't even... Don't even light foliage already on both. Now this is gaining adjacent land, immunity to Phylazira. This is gaining nothing. Is that because I have to own this? Apparently it's because I have to own it, so I'm not even getting a, getting a bonus for that. That is a damn shame. And here we go. Come on, come on, there we go. Okay. So it's not that you can't double-click it, you totally can. Um, given that it's April already, do I want to do I want to cut that back even more? Uh -huh. Okay. We'll wait just a little bit, and then maybe in... Holy crap! And then in June, maybe we'll cut it down to no? To try and bump that ripeness up, because it's pretty damn rainy. I'm just saying, it's awful damn rainy right now. So I wonder, I wonder what it's going to be like with two. Okay, we're in June and we haven't got a damn thing just yet, so we're going to cut it all the way down. And uh, we're going to hope for the best, and there it goes. And perhaps that is jumping a little too high. I would hate to burn out both of these crops right now. But it looks like that's what we're doing. Uh, may as well speed it up. There's not much I can do. So, wait till July? A little bit of rain. Good, good. Foliage is going to come back. Maybe that'll slow this down. Uh, we're in the negatives. Okay, we got to sell it. we got to sell it right now. Uh, both are good. Um... I mean, they're actually pretty damn good right now. So done, and let's press them. 
and we'll just go ahead and do that uh, and then select that one and it's going to take five seconds for each and this is no good that's really no good hopefully we have until the end of the year because otherwise suddenly this has become very very fucking difficult uh, sweetness decreases by one definitely want to do that for every two weeks we will do that and again we will do that for this one as well so I guess I'll have to write that one down that Cabernet or no no Chardonnay man I for a minute there got flipped around either way we want that sweetness to come down but uh, Chardonnay is five 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 leave to ferment for two weeks Now, which is going to be my finest wine, though? That will be the question. Okay, we want 10%, so we'd need the 5 acidity. Does that mean we just leave it from there? We want the tannins to come down, though, so no, we do want it to go up to 6 so that we can leave it. Uh, Cabernet, we want to go up to... Well, it's going to come down 2. So, unfortunately... But we do want the acidity to go up. So if it comes down, this one will just bottle immediately. Okay. So that's going to be barrel type. Ah, oh, that's going to be tough. So I'm going to have to let this one sit for a month, but we're going to have to sell the Cabernet right now. Or... I, you know, is it the sweetness that counts, or is it all over that counts? Let's try selling this as is right now. Maybe the seven matters, maybe it doesn't. And then we'll let the Chardonnay sit for a month. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. Bottle it. We'll put a donk on it. Maybe not. Let's keep this one cheap because uh, that's going to cost me... That's kind of bullshit, actually, that it's going to cost me that much just to... I can't sell my wine. I can't sell my wine because I don't have any money. Okay, so I'm going to need... I get a grand total of 2,000. Minimum of 3,000. Maximum of current renown multiplied by 2,000. Okay, well, clearly that comes first. Over five years? Over six years. Nope, five years is the max loan. Okay. Here we go. Can I repay one already? Just out, out of the gate? We probably can't. That's not even enough. That's not even enough. That's not even... No, oh, because I was going through the negatives. Of course. So the moral of the story is... Um, Chardonnay, while enticing, is not, uh, not cost-effective enough. Perhaps I should have gone screw cap instead of uh, bumping up to cork. Yeah, I can't bottle any of this. And it's not going to get cheaper with time, I'm willing to bet. Uh, so we'll let it sit. We'll let it go uh, for another month. Because I don't know why. I don't know why I would do that. It's not like it's going to make it cheaper. Yeah, it's just not. Okay, well, we, um, meaning I, have failed. So, next episode, we'll start again. This time we'll try it with two crops of Cabernet. I can already see the frustration in this game coming to the front. I'll see you next time.